This video is sponsored by Macademy. Woo! In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up a search campaign here in Google Ads, similar to the one you're looking at right now. This step-by-step -step tutorial is perfect for beginners wanting to run search ads for terms that their target market is searching for on Google and other partner platforms. To get started with setting up a Google Ads search campaign, we just need to be logged into the overview section of the Google Ads Manager. From there, we want to click on the blue button New Campaign and click until it takes us through to the Campaign Objective section. From here, we want to decide on which campaign objective is the most suitable for us. In this example, Leads is the objective we want to go for. From here, we go down to the Conversion Goals we have available and select continue and from there we can then select the campaign type we want to select search so let's click on the search button and then scroll down to the next section we want to identify the ways in which you'd like to reach the target goal let's select the website url i'm going to click on website visits and then i'm just going to paste in the website url once I have done that, I'm going to select continue. What this is going to do is give us a chance to give the campaign name and select continue. We have got the bidding stage and this allows us to choose what our focus is going to be. Are we going after conversions, conversion value, clicks or impression share? Now for beginners, the best objective for lead gen is going for conversions. And we don't want to set a target cost per action quite yet because we don't yet know how much it is going to actually cost us to generate traffic that goes through to the website. So now that we have done that and unselected it, let's go to next. And we've got our campaign settings. This allows us to show up on the search network, which is uh, Google uh, Search and other partner networks, which are owned by Google and which people enter search terms into. I normally unselect display network because it's not actually a search based uh, campaign objective that we want to rank for. So from here, we scroll down to the locations and let's select our target location. Now it's important here to remember that with location options, we want to click on the drop down button and go into people in or regularly in your included locations. And the reason for that is because it allows you to effectively target and make sure that you're only reaching people in your target area, not people who are overseas searching for terms related to New Zealand. And next stage is selecting the language we want to use in the ads. We've selected English, which is the default. And we also want to make sure that broad match keywords either turned on or off so in this example we're just going to turn them off and there's a reason for that which i'll explain shortly and we've also got the chance to have automatically created assets based on your website copy i've got that turned off for now just so that things are as simple as possible to follow from here we select next and what we can see now is that you have a chance to automatically have keyword and asset generation uh, done by Google Ads. Now to speed this tutorial up, I am going to select generate. And what you're gonna see shortly is it will automatically create ad headlines and descriptions. However, first we need to make sure that we are choosing the right keywords for the campaign. Remember, keywords are search terms which people who are in your target market are going to be searching on Google and other part platforms owned by Google. So in this example, we want to go after keywords that are important to this particular business. So one of them is sales training. One of them is business development. I have just entered those two search terms without any uh, grammatical additions. So what it is going to show up for this one is a broad-based keyword. So keywords that are closely related and loosely related to sales training and business development. If you only want people to see your ads for particular keywords, 
you want to add brackets to the sales training keyword and to the business development keyword. What this is then going to do now is it's going to reduce the search terms to exact match only. So for example, if someone types in sales training NZ, they will see the ad or business development training and they might see the ad. If you want it to be a little more loose and be a phrase match related keyword, so for example, sales training in Auckland or business development experts and consulting, then you want to add the speech marks on either side of the keyword. And what this is going to do is it's now going to loosen the search phrases a bit more. And if we scroll down to the next section, this is the actual ad creation. So we can see here that there are example ads which have been showing up and rotating based on the headlines and descriptions that have been entered in. So we can see two things at the top and the bottom. The first one is the headline section, which is the text that is in blue, and the description section with the text that is in black. If we come over to the left hand section, we can see all of the headlines which have been created for this particular ad, and we can also see the four descriptions as well. And what Google does is based on the type of search ad created is that they will pull anywhere from two to three headlines and two to three descriptions and place them together based on what they think the person searching for a particular keyword is going to respond to best and click through onto your website for. So it's important to make sure that you have got appropriate uh, headlines and descriptions as well that you have entered in. And this company that we have set up a search campaign for is Macademy, who is also the sponsor of today's video. Now, if your business has got a really good marketing system, but you're finding that things just aren't happening on closing deals and getting more sales for your business, Macademy are the people to speak to. They are experts in sales and business development training, and they provide insights and actionable practices that actually work. It's the best way for you to elevate your business's sales and business development skills. And if you're looking to get that extra edge over the competition, I highly encourage you to get in touch with Macademy by clicking on the link in the description box. If we come back to the search campaign now, we can also see that there is an images section as well. So if you want images to show next to your ads, you can go to the add images section and select an image you would like to have showing with your ads. And what is good about having the images is it just provides that little bit of extra incentive for someone to touch base with you. So you can see an image ad like this is a lot more attractive than one which is just plainly text. If we come down to the next one, we can see that there are the site links which you can add to other pages of your website. We've got the call out section, but most importantly, we have got the main URL which we want people to go to, which is the homepage of Macademy and it's gonna be placed in the final URL section right here. Now that we've done that, we want to go down to the bottom and click on the next blue button. What this is then going to allow us to do is set up a budget for this particular campaign. Now Google has got a recommended budget which will be able to give you an estimate of the number of conversions you will get each week. You can either use the recommended budget or set your own one if you are operating within a certain budget. So let's say that this budget is $30 per day. We can enter that number in and then click on next. Now, what Google is going to do now is run a final check on everything that's been done in the campaign. And if everything is all good to go, we will see the blue publish campaign button appear here. 
Let's click on Publish Campaign. The campaign has now been published. We will see that it's going to go through a review process. However, once it is live, we just need to go to the campaign section and we will be able to see it running live once it has been approved by Google. It's that easy to set up a search campaign here in Google Ads. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Have a fantastic day, everybody.